So first what we are going to look at is developing a fake XML based report for Dynamics CRM. So let's see the first step. First of all, we are going to create a report project. So let's go to uh, Visual Studio, create a new project. I have installed SSDT. Maybe I need to show you that SSDT part. You can, yeah, here it is showing a link using which you can download SSDT. Yeah, it is showing for SSDT for 2015. Okay, so for me it is 2012. Since I have installed it, I can see this business intelligence section. If you haven't installed it, you won't be able to see this one. So now you need to select a report project. So there are two types of report type you can select. Report server project wizard or report server. So when you select a report server project wizard, it will give you a wizard so that it is easy to start with. So I'm going to give a name to the report project, report sample report project one. Select the type pass report server project wizard. So once you are familiar with the creation of report, you can use report server project directly. Okay, let's open up the report wizard, uh, business intelligence report wizard. So here you basically need to create a new data source or use an existing data source. I'm going to give a name like report CRM data source. So now here you need to select the type of your data source. So I need to select Microsoft SQL Server. Then two options you have. So here I am getting one more option, Microsoft Dynamics CRM, CRM project. This option I'm getting because I have already installed the report ordering extension. Otherwise, only this option will be available, SQL Server. So I'm going to select CRM fetch for now. That means I'm going to create a report for CRM online. Then I need to mention the connection string here. So for CRM online, the connection string is nothing but the URL up to here. Yeah, so you need to mention the credential here. You just need to give your credential. Click next. So if there is any error, it won't allow you to go further from here. So if the connection is successful, it will take you to the next step. Okay, cool. Here I can build a data source. First you need to mention the data set. Then I need to mention the data source. So I can directly write a query or I can use the query builder. So here, the query that you are going to build should be fetchXML query. So the easiest way to uh, generate a fetchXML query is using advanced find. For example, if I'm going to create a report based on opportunities, select opportunities and status equal to open, estimated revenue is greater than or equal to 10,000. Select result. There are four records are there. So now, so you have a query. So you can edit the columns also. Depends upon what all the columns should come in your report. So it is showing topic, potential customer, estimate revenue, status, reason. Which I remove. I'm going to add some columns. Estimated close date. Then from account, I'm going to select account name. I added a few fields over here. I can add sorting or everything I can do. So this is the query we need to run. So I have an option here in advanced find to download fetch XML. So now what is the query I have written? The fetch XML for that one will be downloaded to my system. So this is the easiest way to generate a fetch XML query. You don't need to learn fetch XML basically. So this is the query for that. You can see this is somewhat similar to your normal SSRS query. I mean SQL query. So here is mentioned the entity name equal to opportunity, attribute name, name, customer ID, estimated value, opportunity ID, all that. Joining also, it is joining with this ID, it is joining with parent account ID, yeah, account also. So this is a query, equivalent query for that one. So now we'll come back to Visual Studio, copy paste your query here. So you can edit your fields here. It is showing opportunity ID and all that you don't need. Then click next. 